Hi everyone. I'm Silvana Di Gregorio, Research Director at QSR International, the developers of Envivo. I'm also a sociologist and qualitative researcher myself. I'm going to show you how Envivo has tools which empower researchers to handle big data. The tools that support the analysis of large amounts of text can be classified as two types. Tools that have artificial intelligence to support researchers in coding large amounts of textual data and tools that support identifying sentiment, that is, positive and negative statements in textual data. You can think of these tools as your research assistants. The first of these tools is machine learning autocoding, which in Envivo is called autocoding using existing coding patterns. You start by coding about 10% of your data yourself, and Envivo learns how you're coding in the same way that you would train a research assistant, and then autocodes the rest of the data. Let me switch to one of the sample projects in Envivo to demonstrate. I have opened the sample project called Environmental Change Down East. This was a real study that looked at environmental impacts on coastal towns along the North Carolina coast. You can see that the code for environmental impacts has coding in only six files. This coding was done by a researcher, so I know that the coding is accurate. I'm going to use the coding done in this code as the basis to code the other transcripts which have no coding on environmental impacts. So I'll go to my folder for interviews and select the files that haven't been coded for environmental impacts. These are Barbara, Betty and Paul, Dorothy, Helen, Ken, Margaret, Mary and James, Richard and Patricia, Robert and William. And I'll just right click over that list, select Autocode, and select Use Existing Coding Patterns, and select Next. So first I select the code that I'm going to code to, or that I want in vivo to code to. So that is environmental impacts. Click OK. So I'm going to select the files that I want to base the coding on. And if you notice that Envivo automatically knows which files have not yet been coded for environmental impacts. Click OK. Click Next, and if I open this up, you'll see that Envivo shows you a list of words used in this code in weighted order. So now I have control to select only the words that I feel will refer to environmental impacts. So I'll start by just deselecting them all, and I'll start by selecting Water, Impact, Consequences, Development, I'll just scroll down to see a bit more, Water Quality, Quality Impacts, Runoff, and I'll stop there because they're in weighted order. These are the, these are the words that have been used more, most frequently. Click Next, and I'll tell Envivo to code the paragraphs where those words are found, and click Finish. And you can see that Envivo produces a table showing me which files it coded for environmental impacts. Now I can check the coding, code, uncode anything not relevant, and spread the coding for more context if necessary. So what I'll do is I'll just go back to my codes environmental impacts. So you know before there were only six files coded to environmental impacts, and now there's 11. 
And if I were doing this for real, I would go through this code and just check. So I would just uncode anything. So I don't want the questions to be coded as um, not relevant. So uncode from this code. And it's looking pretty good. So you would use pattern coding if you have already done some coding which Envivo could use as a basis to code the rest of your files. However, if you have a large amount of coding and don't have time to code 10% of your data first, or if you have already coded your data but want to check if you've missed any themes, you can use autocode by themes. What the algorithm picks up are noun phrases, and Envivo groups them under parent themes. I will check to see what themes have already been coded in this project. So I can see that we have coding for the economy, we have coding for natural environment, we have coding for community. So I have a good sense of the themes that have emerged from this project. So what I want to use autocoding by themes for is to check whether there are any major themes that may have been missed. So to do this, I'll go to my interviews folder and select my files and right click over them and select autocode. And I'll select identify themes. Click Next. So you can see how Envivo is going through all the files that I selected, identifying themes. And here I have a list of themes. And if I open them up, I can see the noun phrases that are under each theme. So as I go through this, I can see that it's picked up themes about fishing, and we have a lot of coding about that, as well as water quality, as well about the environment, natural environment. But I notice down here, um, there's a theme for planning. And I know that there hasn't been any coding for planning. So what I want to do is to use auto coding by theme to just to code for planning. So what I'll do is I'll deselect everything and just select planning. Click Next, and I will tell and be able to code the paragraphs where those noun phrases about planning occur. Click Next again, and you can see here I have a choice. Um, and Viva will automatically create a code folder called Autocoded Themes, where my autocoded themes will be stored. But if I prefer, I could save them anywhere in this, in my coding structure. But I actually like having a separate folder for anything that I autocode, because that way I can go through them and check and then decide which ones I want to incorporate into my coding scheme. So I'll click Finish. So I first get a table so I can see which files have been coded for planning. So I can see there are three references from Barbara, a couple of references from Charles, and so on. And I also get a hierarchical chart which shows me which are the dominant phrases about planning. Um, so I can see uh, comprehensive planning, overall planning, land use planning, etc. But I'll just close these down for now. And I'll go to my autocoded themes folder. And you can see here's the code for planning and the, there are separate codes for the noun phrases. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my node for planning. So I can check 
to see how it's coded so I can uncode anything that I don't think is relevant or I can code for more context. But so far it's looking pretty good. So what I think I would do is I think I will incorporate this code for planning into my coding structure. You can also autocode for sentiment in your textual data. And Vivo uses the Lexolytic Salience Engine, which identifies emotive words in a text and gives them a score between minus one to positive one. These scores are converted into Envivo codes as very positive, moderately positive, moderately negative, and very negative. To do this, I first select the text that I want to code for sentiment. So I'll just go back to my folder for interviews. And I'll just select all of my interviews. Right click, select autocode, and then select identify sentiment. Click next. And in this case, I just want Envivo to code sentiment for sentences. Um, paragraphs could be too much because you could have more than one sentiment in a paragraph. And for that matter, you could even have more than one sentiment in a sentence. So I'll select code sentences for sentiment and click finish. So I get an initial table which shows the sentiment across the files I selected. Um, so I can quickly see if there's anyone who's more negative or more positive than the others. And I also get an initial hierarchy chart, which visualizes each file to compare sentiment. But of course, I will need to check for accuracy of this initial coding as sentiment is difficult to identify. The algorithm, for example, will not be able to identify sarcasm. So I'll just close these down and go into my sentiment nodes. And if I was doing this for real, I would review each one. But I'll just, um, for this demo, I'll just go into the very positive code. So this is the sentiment for very positive. So I'll just go through that. So it's looking good. But where I find something that shouldn't be in the very positive code. So for example, here she's um, just explaining something about a friend who's not her uncle. And that really isn't, isn't showing any sentiment. Um, so I can just select it, right click, and I can uncode from this sentiment. And I would go through all of them. In this way. So here I want to change the sentiment because I think that is actually moderately negative, not actually very positive. So it's very easy to change the sentiment and go through it. But you do need to go through it. But it does take a lot of the heavy lifting out of the initial coding for, for sentiment. So to summarize, Envivo is really going to help you if you have a large amount of textual data. You could either use Auto-coding using existing coding patterns, where you would train Envivo first by coding at least 10% of your data yourself, and then use Envivo to code the rest. Or, if you have an extremely large amount of textual data and do not have the time to code 10% of the data, you could use auto-coding by theme. Regardless of the size of data, you can also use auto-coding by theme 
when you have finished coding yourself, as a way to see if you missed any interesting themes. Both ways of auto-coding use algorithms, which you should consider as research assistants. You will always need to check and modify the coding that has been done automatically, but it can take the heavy lifting out of coding large amounts of textual data. And you can always see what the algorithm has picked up before you click the button to code. So these features are transparent, and you're always in control. You would also use Envivo if you want to code for sentiment, positive and negative statements. Again, the algorithm here is just a research assistant. You would need to check how it has coded. It cannot distinguish sarcasm, for example, and the nuanced way people talk. So those are the features of Envivo that I'm sure will save you lots of time. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact info at qsrinternational.com. Thank you for your attention and enjoy using Envivo.